You got competitors that step on people's throats. And then you got other competitors that cut them open. Those are the individuals that it's never, never enough. The best of the best already want it more than anybody else. There's a reason they're the best. They're the ones that are show up to practice early. Okay, they're the ones taking the extra shots. They're the ones doing the wind sprints at the end. They're the ones getting treatment, taking care of their body. You gotta tell them to leave. You don't have to tell them to show up. You gotta tell them to leave. People always say, you know, you gotta love the work. You gotta love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You gotta be fucking addicted to what you do. Do I like having to watch a game at three o'clock in the morning? But no, I have to be prepared, but I'm addicted to the result. I'm addicted to the result. You gotta be addicted to winning. You gotta work smarter and you gotta work fucking harder. You gotta do both. You cannot do one. You're gonna tell me, I'm gonna tell one of my athletes that, hey, listen, you know what? You only need to practice four hours a week. He'd be like, are you fucking crazy? It's not gonna happen. Now, you need to tell me how to be more effective in what I'm doing. That's the smarter side, but you're not gonna tell me I gotta work less. You have to be obsessive. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted. You have to be disciplined. The key there is you. Everyone else is looking for other individuals to do stuff for you. Stop looking for fucking help from everybody else. It starts and it ends with you. Your identity starts and ends with you. When things go bad, when all the bullshit starts to come in, everybody's pulling you in different directions, telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that, you're, you're not this. You have the resiliency to show them. You can't win the championship leading the league in scoring. I'm gonna show you. You only play offense. I'm gonna be the defensive player of the year. Everything that says you ca I can't do it, they've done. That's resiliency. We're all gonna fail at something. Everyone's failed at something. But it's only a failure if you decide it to be a failure. There's just not one way of getting things done. So failure is what you think and what you, what you, set, up in your, what you set up in your head. It's the individuals that can bounce back for that. But just because you don't win the championship one year, are you gonna say, I'm a, I'm a failure? But yeah, you know what? You might have not reached the ultimate goal, but next year you retool. You figure out a different way. What do I have to do? You have to add resistance. That's how your brain grows. You know, when people run from, when they run from pressure and so forth, your brain needs that pressure. It thrives off of it. That's how it grows. That's how it wants to be rebooted. That, you know, you talk about individuals, you get a, you get an update on your phone on a regular basis, right? You get a new app, you get this, you get a new phone, you move up to an iPhone 7, iPhone 8, wherever the hell they're at, the galaxies, all these different things, okay? And you do this, you change them. When's the last time you fucking rebooted this? When's the last time this got a jolt? When's the last time this got a, uh, you know, a charge? It, ne it needs to be challenged. It, ne it, it needs to be worked with, okay? And those are the individuals that you, you're fearful of because they're never satisfied. They always want more. They're gonna educate themselves. They're gonna become better. Those are the individuals that are fear. You go into a company, if you're selling a policy and you're the best at what you do and somebody else is selling a policy and they walk into an office and they see you sitting outside in that office after they made that presentation, they should be coming out of there and saying, oh fuck, we got no chance. We're all built to handle pressure. We, we are. But what we do, we run from it. And what happens? Oh, I'm stressed. You know what stress is? Stress is just pressure you won't deal with. 
So if you don't deal with a pressure situation, another pressure situation comes on, and another one comes on, and another one comes on. Now you're dealing with stress. People have gotten too soft these days. They've gotten too soft. Man, you're always so angry. You haven't seen me angry. This has got nothing to do with anger. I'm just telling you the truth. There's too much hugging and too much high fives and all that shit going on when you haven't earned it. You go to these seminars, you go to the, hey, turn around, give the person next to you a pat on the back, give them a high five, give them a hug. When I come from, you gotta earn your fucking high fives. You gotta earn your accolades. You gotta earn your hug. This isn't about participation trophies. You don't get, you don't get rewarded for participating. You don't get rewarded for participating in life. Passion in the drive has to be followed by an action. You have to have an action that follows it. And that's the hardest part. People don't wanna have that action. They got all these dreams dancing in their head. I wanna do this, I wanna mm -hmm. do this, I wanna do, guess what? Dreams wanna live just like everybody else. And if you don't bring them to life, somebody else will. They're gonna jump from your head right into somebody else's head. And that person is gonna bring those dreams to life. And you're gonna be sitting there back thinking, man, I could have, I should have, I would have. Well, you had your chance. You gotta deliver, you gotta have action, you gotta deliver. Distance has to become your best friend in order for you to achieve the best at what you wanna do. I know these are completely different thoughts than what other people tell you. Surround yourself with positive people. You know what that means? That means lie to my fucking face so I can feel good about myself. <laughs> That's what that means. Fucking glad you don't. You have to always be willing to work. I don't care that like, you know you used to be the bass mother. I don't care. What are you doing today? You may not be that person now, but what are you still doing to try to excel in life? And a lot of people now are talking. I hear so much talk. I don't hear a lot of work. I hear a lot of people telling you what you should be doing, how you should be doing it, how you should be fucking living. And I look at them and you're fat, you're out of shape, you look like shit, but you're telling the motherfucker how to live. No, man, I wanna listen to you. There's a lot of people talking shit. I don't see the real suffering behind it, behind what you're saying. That's why I said, man, you talk with so much passion because it's a real fucking place. It sucks to get up in the morning time. There was raining like cats and dogs. I wanna get my shoes on and go run, but guess what? I got my shit on and ran.